Daniels has a uh, great future ahead of him and an impressive history despite only being I believe 21 years of age Daniels a finalist in Super Indy 14 a year ago a lot of people still say Daniels should have had that tournament won narrowly narrowly missed a chance to qualify for Super Indy 15 but a big time test moments away for Daniels When Ray Rowe was in IWC, he was a suplex machine. Now in Ring of Honor every week, he is part of War Machine. With Warbeard Hanson, former Ring of Honor, World Tag Team Champions, former IWC Tag Team Champions, Ray Rowe always makes it a point to return home. And when he does, he always does a lot of damage. And keep in mind, Jay Worth, we talked about the Super Indy 14 final. Daniels was one third of that. Bostic, another third. The other third? That was Ray Rowe. Yeah, yeah. And I was going to point out that uh, Daniels looks like he's put on a little mask and spending some time in the gym. Uh, maybe in preparation for this match, but good Lord, look at Ray Rowe. Just a uh, big, burly mass of violence. And for those uh, fans listening to us right now that may be uh, newer to IWC, how could you sum up Ray Rowe's just path of destruction and his original stint in this company in the, uh, the first decade of the century? Uh, I would say the closest comparison I could give to it would be uh, uh, look up a look up uh, a tornado. Just one destruction. Well, what, whatever it's in its path gets thrown to one side, thrown to the other, possibly destroyed. Uh, it just people would 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 try and, st and, and stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ray Rowe, and just one after the other would fall. If you got a win against Ray Rowe, it was saying something. And we've seen Rowe in numerous matches, three, four, five team scrambles, just unleash, what, about a dozen suplexes in a row on various uh, individuals of mm. varying sizes? And, and he can mix them up. And it's not like one suplex is better than the other. He's good at all of them. And uh, Daniels will have to look out for the uh, death row maneuver, that knee to the back of the head from the full Nelson position. Rowe has knocked many a man out. But so far, a feeling out process. And Rowe is so powerful, a lot of times people overlook his ground game. But we're seeing how proficient he is right now. And just a straight up deadlift and a takedown. And then just a splat down. That was sort of a warning. He could have very easily turned that into one of several suplexes. Instead, he just turned him around and threw him back to the mat, letting him know, here's, the, here's what you're dealing with. Well, keep in mind how quick and agile Daniels is as well. There could be a possibility, Daniels, and there's respect from both sides. Daniels, uh, could he be able to leverage his way out of the railroad suplex? Oh, he could. I mean, that's definitely a possibility. But... Daniels quick gets the pace. Advantage free runner. Practices parkour in his off time. It's his version of self-expression. Used it to get himself through a troubled childhood. Picked up a hobby and man, making a career out of it. Multiple Whoa. springboards. Ray Rowe nowhere to go to prepare. And Daniels showing he can't beat Ray Rowe at Rowe's game, but he can bring a pretty strong game of his own. Sure. Now it will. The thing is, Ray Rowe knows enough to not try and enter that game. He's not going to try and outspeed Daniels any more than Daniels is going to try and outpower Ray Rowe. And Rowe respects that. Sure. Doesn't mean he's not going to. Oh! Do that. 
Respect it, a couple bucks will get you a cup of coffee. There's a difference between hesitation and respect. There's a difference between remorse and respect. Ray Rowe has respect, but he can still be that emotionless assassin. Oh, yeah. Oh! A tornado doesn't care which house it destroys. Or which chest it caves in, in that regard. Look at Daniels, that adjustment. So light on his feet, so quick. And Daniels can go high risk here. Rope trying to cut him off. Took him over. May not have gotten all he wanted, but he got Ray Rowe reeling. Yeah, Ray Rowe to step out and try and rest it up again. Back in. Oh, overpowers Daniels. Rose like a bear. Every time you move toward him, he just grabs you in his, in his grasp and manhandles you. Just... <laughs> oh, ouch. And then just peppering him with a couple knuckles right to the cheekbone. And you know, we talk a lot about Rose's power. It's easy to overlook the fact that... Jeez! It's not all power. He's a good technical wrestler if he needs to be, too. It's all power on that exchange. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that was, there was finesse there, right there. I'm just saying it's there if he needs it. You could see that look of pain etched on the face of Daniels. And Roe giving him no time to breathe. Camel cuts. Oh, Daniels has the knees up under him. Yeah, that alleviates some of that pressure as Roe tries to sit back and arc the back of Daniels. Yeah, it's still a bunch of, oh, a bunch of weight right on the on the back, on the small of the back, and then being torqued upward. And then Roe decided to follow that through with a forearm shiver. Not really what we see from Ray Roe very often, though, the camel clutch. True. Striking game, that would be a mistake, young Mr. Daniels. I have not met many men more diligent in their training than Ray Rowe. Yeah, I, uh, when you say that, I was like trying to, uh, I did a quick run through in my head, and the number of people that I could even say, well, maybe, uh, it's still a pretty open debate on that. Wrestling, striking, mixed martial arts. Rowe is proficient in many forms of combat. Ooh. God, that what a that could be it. Daniels looks limp. Is he out? If he's not unconscious, he's at least having questions about where he is. Uh oh. Oh! God, I felt that. I think that oh. one woke him up. I'm reminded of the story of Tommy Dreamer, where he explains that a kendo stick from Jerry Lawler once knocked him unconscious. Daniels with a cover for two. What woke Tommy up was being hit by Jim Cornette's tennis racket moments later. I think that's how Daniels felt in that exchange. Only the kendo stick and tennis racket were Ray Rowe's hands and knees. And knees. Because I think when Ray Rowe hits you, it doesn't feel like a human being hit you. No, I'd assume it's sort of like getting hit with a Skittle. The, uh, the, the cast iron cooking oh, yeah. piece, not the candy. Yes, a skillet as opposed to the candy. Oh, you never heard of it, yeah. heard it called a Skittle? I'm just clarifying. No? I, well, being that uh, I've spent some time in the mountains, I, I learned that term. I'm not going to ask. Ouch! As we see this great back and forth competition, the round kicks, the forearm strikes. Mentioned Tommy Dreamer a moment ago. We'll be expecting much the same competition like this when House of Hardcore invades the Court Time Sports Center this October. And Daniels may not wake up in time to see it because Ray Rowe with a potential knockout shot. Wake up. He may be in the hospital come October. Did you see that shot? Did Rowe just say time to die, kid? I thought he said good night, kid. Either one, not very uh, promising for the young free runner. I was going to say, the second one seemed a little more polite. Daniels, look at Daniels psyching himself up. He's Whoa. fighting for all he's got. Variation of a Yurinagi. And it takes an amazing amount of upper body strength to do that to someone the size and 
mass of Ray Rowe. Imagine what this would do for Alex Daniels' IWC career if he was able to pin Ray Rowe here tonight in Rowe's home turf, practically. Daniels will be eligible for any championship he wants, any marquee match he wants. That'd be a huge win. That, that's a big if, but. His kid's career will be made at just 21. Oh, what a backbreaker. And down to a gut buster. Oh, here's Daniels. Powerbomb counter to the Hurricane Rana, and Rowe is the one that stays. And Daniels hit the Hurricane Rana, but it looks like he landed right on the back of his head. He was a little shaken there. Slow to get up to the ropes. Could this be 6.30? Oh, row out of the way. Daniels adjusts in midair. Go! Oh! You can hear the crack throughout this building. Well, I have a suspicion of what's next. Daniels may not be aware yet. Those shotgun knees. Now Daniel sees him. Oh, reverse Hurricane Rana. That could be it. Get on him, kid. Daniel's on top of Rowe. Drives with the legs. Oh, no. that was a near fall. That was close. Using that, that weight, that mass of Ray Rowe against him, flipping him upside down and dumping him on his head. Ray retreating to the outside of the ring to try and shake it off. Now, what a what a gut check this has been for both these men. What a physical altercation. But Daniels is holding his own, Jay Worth. Absolutely. Look at this. Parkour background comes into play, springs off the post with a moonsault. Didn't touch a rope at all. And Roe, I don't think Roe saw that coming. No, and I don't think he sees where, da oh, he sees where Daniels is now. Oh, God. Daniels connects high, right around the side of the jaw. Can't Roe wheel off the top rope to get out of the way. Oh, oh Roe explodes. Another huge right. Got rich countered. Daniels, it's a Guri, out of the way. Uh oh Death row. No. Daniels rolls through, carries Rowe with him. Insiguri connects that time. And Rowe down to one knee. What a back and forth battle here at IWC Wrestling. Time for Daniels to hit a higher level. Now Rowe comes back with a knee. By higher level, you mean how high Ray Rowe got those knees. Rowe into the cover as quickly as he could. Deep hook of the leg, but not enough. What has Daniel shown you thus far? Uh, an ability to adopt, adapt, and improve. He's facing a mountain of a man who can throw him anywhere he wants, and so he's working his offense around that, which is a pretty big workaround. But it's, so far, he's staying toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. What's he shown you, Joe? He's shown me a lot of intestinal fortitude. He's shown me the will and desire to be a big time player here in IWC to stare into the face of the most intimidating athlete perhaps in our history. And in some instances in this matchup, come out on top. But can he get the elusive three count? In this position, no, as Ray Rowe looks for a potential death blow. I was gonna say, it looks like he has a, looks like he had almost a choke out on him. Yeah, maybe attempting a suplex from high above. Good Lord. Daniel's not gonna wait to find out. Look at this! Oh, he caught him! Oh, Daniel's, I'm not sure if it was Senton, Hurricane Rana, but either way, Powerbomb! Bro has him! That's and it! And defeats him! And we've talked about the adaptation of Daniel's. Wanna point out, Ray Rowe had to adapt to beat Daniel's as well. The death row attempt earlier on, Daniel's agility was able to counter, was able to roll through. It wasn't effective, but Ray Rowe was able to come back with that powerbomb. 
drive the air out of Daniel's body and pick up a victory, but an ovation much deserved for both these athletes from our IWC fan base. The best way to counter a Ray Rose suplex is to never get in it in the first place. Same thing with a throw, same thing with a power bomb. The problem is the longer the match goes, the better a chance he has of hitting one. It was a great effort by Daniels. Just eventually his time came due. Eventually, when you're on death row, that happens. Some of y'all have watched me grow up inside this very IWC ring. A lot of y'all have bought Ring and Road t-shirts, bandanas, pictures, all that stuff that helped me get from town to town and do what I love to do. I wouldn't be the wrestler that I am today without IWC. Which means I would not be the wrestler I am today without you people sitting in this crowd, buying tickets, buying merch, and screaming your heads off for what we do. And what y'all just witnessed was an ass whooping. But more importantly, another Cleveland kid. Hold on, I'm a Cleveland kid too, and y'all like me. You don't have to like the Browns, but you can't do it like me. What y'all witnessed today was another Cleveland kid. Came out of the same school system that I did, trained by Johnny Gargano. Taking <laughs> in AIW. Sound familiar? And something else that should sound familiar. And this kid doesn't know when to quit. <laughs> Alex, I said a lot of thank yous, but none more heartfelt than this. Thank you for the fight. Now play Alex's music and remember if you want to see wrestling like this in the Pittsburgh area, there's only one place to see it. And I think you know what those three letters are. One star returns home, perhaps another born, as Ray Rowe and Alex Daniels cross paths and give you one of the damnedest fights we've seen in a while. Much respect from all of us to both these athletes and can't wait to see what's next on both their journeys.